Hey, meal prepping for an entire week in less than an hour? Check it out on In The Basket. Hey guys, and welcome to In The Basket. Today we are all about meal prep. So here's what's really cool. Today is, we're gonna be doing chicken, whole chicken, and sweet potatoes. So if you like to meal prep and you're on this strict diet, you know what? I know what you're going through. I've been there, I know that feeling. You know, I'm like, man, I have got to get my stuff ready, right? I gotta get my week ready. But then when it comes down to the time, it's the end of the week and you gotta do it, you're like, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. It's the end of the week and I'm gonna spend the next three hours prepping for the week ahead. Not anymore, because now you have a pressure cooker and if you don't have a pressure cooker, you should go out and get one because I'm telling you, meal prepping out the window. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am using an entirely whole chicken today, okay? Whole chicken, remember, I'm using one of the bigger sizes uh, for the pressure cookers. To give you guys a heads up, mine is the Power Pressure Cooker XL. And the reason why is because, you know, being a family, gotta take care of them. So, let's just get into it. First of all, you're gonna need to make yourself a makeshift bottom to go on here. And I'm gonna teach you how to make one today. Really, really easy, really simple. You don't need a lot of things. You actually just need, remember, your good old friend, tin foil. You take a sheet of tin foil, you're gonna crumple it, okay? Not real hard, just a nice little ball of tin foil, okay? Not very decorative, but it doesn't matter. This is gonna go on the bottom. Shazam! Reason why I put a piece of tin foil in there like that, not pressed all the way, is because I do not want this beautiful chicken to go in there and sit right on the very bottom. If it goes and sits right on the bottom of my bowl and it's heating up getting hot, it's gonna burn the underside of my chicken. Nobody likes to taste a burnt chicken. This is gonna make roughly a week's worth of meals. So, I got my chicken, I got my sweet potato. Now, before we even put the chicken in there, we gotta prep our sweet potatoes, right? Or, if you want, you can do a couple things. First of all, I wanna give you guys some options. Check this out. You can take your chicken, put it in here, and you're gonna cook it almost all the way, you're pretty much just gonna cook it all the way through. If you leave the skin on, the skin's not gonna cook that well, okay? What, what you can do, take it out of there after it's cooked, put it on a pan, shove it in your oven or under the broiler setting, turn it on high, leave it on there, and it will crispify this skin to make this golden, beautiful texture, okay? And it will be absolutely the most amazing thing you've ever tasted. I don't know, it depends on what kind of seasonings you use. But today, we're only gonna be using one major seasoning on our chicken, and that is lemon pepper. So I hear that's actually one that, you know, it's kind of a cool thing in, in prepping. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this hunk of beautiful chicken. First of all, I know this is not the most pretty part about this, but I always check because they shove the giblets and everything and all that's in the back of it. I'm not, I'm not taking the giblets out. I'm leaving the giblets, I'm leaving the everything that's in there, because uh, it, if it's not in a plastic baggie, because sometimes they store them in plastic baggies, I'm gonna leave it all in there, because the cool thing is, the liquid that's gonna come running off this chicken that's gonna go into our pressure cooker is gonna make chicken stock. I know, multi-purpose, thinking out the box, because you can take chicken stock, leave it in a pressure cooker, open the lid, put it on the saute, let it boil down that chicken stock a little bit, now you have chicken stock, concentrate, put it in an ice tray, freeze it, and now you have something amazing to throw in with. You do your rice, you throw in some chicken cubes. It cuts out all that middleman. No need to buy that powdered chicken uh, uh, cube stuff that tastes, it just doesn't taste like chicken, and it needs a little salt, but don't worry. I'll we'll show you how to do that later, too. Uh, so right now, we're gonna put our chicken in here. I love you. No oil, no nothing. If you want, you can, maybe a little bit, but literally, you're gonna take your bird, you're gonna pick up your beautiful bird, ooh, 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 put it in on top of the foil. I kind of finagle it in there on top of the foil. Pressed in, you just kind of set it in there. It's in the middle, nothing perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's the cool part. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. I'm gonna use roughly about two cups of water. So I'm gonna take, we're gonna dump it right on top of the chicken. One cup, there's one cup. And then we're gonna go two cups of water. And you look down in there, and if it doesn't look like it, maybe you use, I'm gonna use two and a half, two and a half, two and a half cups. 
Perfect. Let's get on with the uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are going to be peeled and they are going to be cut in half to help with the cooking. Sweet potatoes take a little bit of time and you can leave the skins on if you want and just slice them in half. As is with skins on and cook them up that way. I'm not doing that. I'm going to peel mine. Sweet potatoes are peeled. Now you, all you have to do is really simple. You just give them a good old cut. I'm gonna cut mine kind of somewhat down the middle. I'll try to figure out where that is. And these bad boys, they are hard part. So just be careful. Make sure you uh, have a good cutting board and, uh, and you're not uh, gonna, you know, cut your finger. This one's really weird looking. So I'm just gonna give this one a good old uh, slice. Just slice them in half. Nothing else I'm gonna do these. I'm not gonna put any oil on them. I'm not gonna do anything. I want them to cook as is. I'm gonna take my plate. Remember, if you don't have a plate, you're gonna be get really creative. And what I'm gonna suggest, you're gonna take another piece of tin foil. Let's do that. Right here. You're gonna take another piece of tin foil. Like so, you're gonna fold it in half, fold it again. And you're gonna kind of crinkle it a little bit to fit into the top of, on top of your chicken. What's gonna happen when you fit that in there, you're just gonna literally put that right on top of your chicken. Here, check it out. See, I just stuck it right on top of my chicken. Remember, I don't have a bowl to work with at this moment, but I just put it right on top of my chicken. And now I can put my sweet potatoes right here on top of everything. And those will all fit. I'll just kind of squirm them around a little. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just gotta, you know, it's just gotta fit. So there you go. Perfect fit, see? Good. Now to get it cooking. All right, everything's in there. We've got the water. We've got our chickens in here, right? We've got our sweet potatoes on top. If you don't have your mesh grate, you're gonna use a piece of tin foil to block the chicken and that. You don't necessarily have to have this plate just to prove it. I'm not even gonna use mine. Keep that all together. And now the great thing is, you're just gonna plug your pressure cooker in. Ha ha, I'm like magic. Put your lid on top. Now remember, now I'm having a little struggle here. But don't worry, the power struggle will not hold me down. All right, I'm just kind of give it a little more press. There we go. Seal it. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna click on my chicken meat setting. Now we got things going. So this is a 10 pound bird. I'm gonna go 10 minutes per pound for this chicken. Plus also I have the uh, sweet potatoes in there. I wanna make sure they get cooked all the way through as well. So what am I gonna do for the next 40 minutes? Pfft, I'm gonna go do like, I don't know, homework, hang out, read a book, hang out with my wife, do whatever. I might just, you know, sit and eat a whole bar of chocolate. Sounds really good right now. All right, I'll see you guys in 40. All right, it's been uh, 40 minutes of under pressure cooking. So now I just uh, released the valve. It's been going for about a couple minutes now and waiting on it to finally finish to where we can uh, we can get down in, get in there and take a look and see what we got going. Almost done, hold on. Ah, yeah. Now the moment of truth. Got a little drizzle. Ooh, hot, 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 ooh. Woo, be careful. Water apparently will build up inside that little compartment. Luckily it didn't burn me, but it did uh, scare me a little bit because it's really hot. Let's take a look here at our... Oh, they are perfectly cooked. They are soft. Oh, very soft. We've got the tin foil. I'm gonna peel that tin foil. I'm just gonna... Fold it over, and we're gonna take a look at what's under here. And the moment is, voila! Look at that! Remember, I left everything in there. The drippings, the, all that. Oh, look at you. Oh, perfect. Now, <laughs> it's so tender that literally pieces are falling off. There's a wing. 
the chicken is completely done all the way through, you will see how beautiful this piece is. Watch. I'm just going to grab this leg right here. Lightly turn. Lightly turn. And that bo bone, that's, that bone is hot. Comes right off. Look at that. I mean, it, it, just a twist, a light twist came right off, completely tender all the way through. I'm going to actually, here, I got myself a, uh, a bowl for the bones to put in and the little bones so we can get all that out. And here, I'll turn just so you can see that again. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Just slight turn and pop out the bone. Done. That's pretty done. I mean, there is a little bit of meat left on it, but you know what? That's okay, because what I'm going to do, this is about to become my chicken stock as well that I'm about to make with that. So I'm just going to drain my piece of tin foil that I have. I'm just going to turn it a few times, kind of get everything out. Put that right there. Now, everything that's on this plate is gonna go right back into this pot. Put the bones back in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these back on for probably another 20 to 30 minutes under the pressure with the liquid that's in there to finish pulling everything out to make it a great chicken stock. I would love for you to comment. Tell me some of your ingredients, things that you've used when you're doing these recipes, especially when you do like roasted chicken, things like that, whatever ingredients you use. Comment down below. Hey, and if you also want to see more and you would love to learn more of these recipes, just do me a favor. Right here off to the uh, left-hand side, there is a subscribe button. When you click subscribe button, hit the little bell icon that's right next to it. Get a little ring. So every time I load a new video, you are going to be the first person to see it. And that way it gets you quick and fast. Now we got our chicken. We've got our sweet potatoes. Pretty much done at this point. If you wanted to, in the middle of that process, you could have uh, stopped it when it was like 10 minutes to the end, release the pressure, put greens in there that you wanted to cook, if it's like a, you know asparagus or green beans, and then that would have cooked those as well in there with everything. Now we get to just let it go, uh, and you're pretty much set. To season your chicken, all you're gonna do, literally, is put a, uh, a, a bowl, a glass bowl in here, Take your lemon pepper seasoning, like you got right here. Take a little bit of your lemon pepper seasoning, and you're just going to sprinkle a little bit right over the top of your chicken. Now, I use roughly about one-fourth of a, a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon, or you pinch. It's a light pinching, which is roughly about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Sprinkle that on there. Take my chicken, kind of fold it in a little bit. And that's what I literally, with your fork, just kind of mix it in just a little lightly because this chicken is so tender, like you saw that, I mean, literally, I'm, I'm just peeling that free. Just a little bit, kind of reincorporate the heat, uh, that way it kind of cooks that in, into the meat a little bit, and then you're done. Thank you so much, I appreciate you, and I look forward to doing more and cooking more with you in the basket.